Eric Wiegand, what's the state of the consumer right now? We had some less than stellar earnings reports from the likes of Macy's and Nordstrom's. The October retail sales number was not spectacular. So what's going on? You know, it's fascinating. Uh, it continues to frustrate investors, the uneven response that consumers are experiencing to what has been rising wages and a, effectively a dividend from lower fuel costs. Uh, but it's really been somewhat bifurcated. Uh, you know, you mentioned the, the department stores experiencing a very difficult environment, uh, not the least of which being impacted negatively by weather. Uh, but we have seen the off-price merchants have done well. Uh, the do-it-yourself folks, as far as home improvement, have done well. Uh, and things that are a little bit bigger ticket have actually, you know, held up, you know, pretty well coming through this. So, uh, again, I would come back to it being a frustrating environment because it's someone in even, but the consumer tends to be in very good shape right now. So where else is that lower gas price money going? We keep hearing it maybe going to restaurants. Is that, is that where it's going? Yeah, you know, it seems like the consumer is more uh, interested in not only, you know, maintaining a healthier balance sheet themselves, uh, but also, also more experiences. So we're seeing restaurants, uh, travel destinations, you know, continuing to do well. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it again has been a rather uneven experience. And we keep hearing also that the consumer is changing. They don't like clothing so more as much as technology. Is this a trend you expect we're gonna see heading into the Christmas shopping season? You know, it, it's such an important time of year for retailers, no doubt about it. Uh, not seeing any clear uh, trends or must-have items certainly has a lot of retailers uh, concerned. We're seeing discounting taking place much earlier this year than we would normally. Uh, but the, I, I think a large part of it is uh, from, a, from an apparel standpoint, uh, weather certainly has been impactful, no doubt about it. Uh, technology, uh, the must-have item, hasn't really presented itself. So again, we're, we're seeing more uh, spending on entertainment, uh, and we would expect that to continue through, you know, through this important fourth quarter. That's right. We did not get a great number from Best Buy. But you mentioned big-ticket items before. Cars still doing very well. Do you expect with a Fed rate hike on the way, people will pile into automobiles and bigger ticket items ahead of the rate hikes? You know, I think a large part of the success of, you know, automobiles and, and housing and things like that have been, you know, party to a couple of different reasons. Number one, we've seen consumer confidence improve as a result of improved wages, uh, a reflation in, in real estate prices, also an improvement in, in markets. So the wealth effect has, has taken some, uh, some uh, response there. Uh, but we are also had seen a much more conservative consumer leading into this. Uh, the average age of an automobile in the United States is over 11 years, so we're getting to the end of the useful life of a lot of these. Uh, for us, we do think that that trend is likely to continue, seeing that replacement cycle, but we're obviously concerned that if there is a rapid increase in uh, short-term interest rates, that that might mute that type of response. All right, and then finally, bringing it back to the stock market, did the market get its Santa Claus rally in October? We do think that uh, you know the the normal seasonality that tends to be expressed in, in market returns, which is generally November and December, was largely pulled forward into into October. Uh, we're somewhat devoid of information. Most of the earnings season is behind us here in November and, and, and looking into December. We'll have important releases as far as the labor markets and central banks, which will certainly influence the market. So. You know, from our way of thinking, we did have, you know, the Santa Claus rally early. Some might refer to this as the Santa pause, as we tend to be somewhat volatile, but some probably flattish as we move into year end. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Eric. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching The Street.